Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The feature bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 72. Bumblebee, Starscream. Now, Starscream here was a surprise find for me at my local Walmart today. I was in the Transformer aisle, didn't really see anything, and I happened to look up. And this figure was stuffed up top behind a couple other items. Fortunately, I'm six foot four, so I was able to grab him and add him to my collection. Now, my son, he says, Dad, somebody hid that. And I said, yes, they hid it for me. So we're taking a quick look at the packaging. We've got Starscream here in robot mode, some great artwork of him right there. Transformers Studio Series, Bumblebee movie, side of the box, we got Starscream's face, which is kind of weird looking. Studio Series 72, back of the package, we got Starscream in robot mode, vehicle mode, a display picture there, this side of the box, more of that artwork, and that's pretty much it. So now, without further ado, let's get Starscream opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Starscream all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated, but I did not find these easy to follow at all. It took me a couple tries to figure him out. That could be the instructions. That could just be me. So anyway, there's that. He also comes with two null ray weapons, a left and a right, and a blaster. Starscream also comes with this display insert that depicts Cybertron from the opening scenes of the Bumblebee movie. So you can have the display like so, put Starscream right in the middle, and he... He fits pretty snug, so if you have room on your shelf for this display, that's pretty cool. Now, let's take a closer look at Starscream himself. My first impressions when I got Studio Series Starscream opened up out of the packaging was, wow, I cannot get over the amount of detail that this figure has, especially for a character who appeared in the movie for only about 15 seconds. Decepticons. Attack! Destroy the launch pad! Let none escape! Now taking a closer look at Starscream so you can see those details yourself, just look at that face sculpt. That looks amazing, especially with the painted red eyes, the sculpted details up here in the pylons, down here on the chest with the vents there, and the vents inside the arms. You got a translucent cockpit right there that really doesn't look bad at all. Great detailing on the arms, especially here on the inside. I love that. You got great molded hands with uh, fingers that are actually sculpted individually. They don't move, but it has great sculpt work on those hands. Moving on down to the legs, more great sculpting here, all the way down to the feet, the thrusters here on the side. This figure looks awesome, and it's not only the sculpting, the paint applications just pop. I mean, 
just looking right at this figure, you know that is Starscream with the red, white, and blue. This figure just looks amazing. Now, moving on to the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, and it could look up and down slightly and do a complete 360. The arms could do a complete 360 as well, but they are going to hit those wings. Arms can also go up and down. There is an elbow bend and arm rotation. There is no wrist rotation due to transformation. Now, there is a waist rotation as well, but mine is really tight, and it really doesn't seem to go too far. It stops. You just get a little bit of a twist, and it stops, but there is waist rotation right there. Legs can also go up and back, up and in. There is a knee bend, leg rotation, and ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for this guy. Now Starscream also has, almost forgot, articulation with the wings. So these can move in and out, up and down, but the proper look is to have them just like so. Starscream also comes with some weapons. You got these two, I'm going to call them null rays, that are actually supposed to peg right here on the wings. Just like that. Now, I do wish that they gave him some pegs there in the upper arm to at least peg his null rays in like so to make him look more G1 accurate. But this right here is exactly how he looked in the movie. He also has this blaster here that looks really cool. It's got a peg right there. So you just fit that in his hand and it kind of slides over his forearm just a little bit to look like the weapon is actually formed from his hand. So there you have Starscream all armed and ready for battle. Now let's get him transformed into vehicle mode. Now the first thing you want to do is remove the weaponry. We're going to take off Starscream's blaster here and both null rays. Now what you're going to do is extend the arms forward, flip the hands up underneath the forearms like so, get the arms straight, and then rotate the forearm around. Next up, you've got these little struts right here by the torso. Just pop those in like so. Now with the wings, you're going to take this section, fold up, and then rotate around, just like so. Do this here on the other side. And as you can see, the wing also, you want to fold that in. So you've got that going on for the wings. Next, down here on the legs, you've got these blue panels. You want to bring these out and fold all the way back. Do that for both legs. Take these little white sections here, fold this up and out. Fold up and out or over. Now you've got these little tabs right there that are going to match up to those slots. So just get those tabbed in. Down here, you're going to take the feet and fold up into the calves like so, rotate the legs around, and pretty much leave that as it is for now. Now right here with the shoulders, if you look, you've got these little hinges right here, so you're gonna actually take the shoulders and pop these sections out. Now my right arm is easy to pop out, my left, my left is a pain in the butt. I always feel like I'm gonna break it you can hear how secure that was. So once that's popped out, you're going to take this section here with the head, bring this up, and this will enable you to pull this whole section up and over. You want to kind of manipulate this around the legs, just like so. Now, right here, you're going to open up this little section and pull out the nose cone. You can go ahead, fold that back, and snap the nose cone in place. It is a little tight. There we go. So now you're going to take this section here that you just opened up and squeeze it back together. Now with the arms, what you're going to do is make sure, see the smaller angled port? or Take those sections and make sure the smaller angled section folds in. And now you've got the forearms like so. Bend these over making sure that the hands 
will be facing down in vehicle mode. So now we've got the head section, bring this all the way up, get this section here straight. And now what you're gonna do, bring the wings down at an angle. And underneath here, you've got these tabs that are gonna line up with these slots. If you can see that in there, right in there. So you wanna get those lined up just right. Make sure the nose cone is facing forward. Get those down. It's a little bit of fiddling around to make sure everything gets lined up just right. There we go. So you got that tabbed into place. You wanna make sure and squeeze the tail fin together here on the back. There we go. Actually, I didn't get the head up good enough. So push that all the way up. Now tab the tail fins together. And right here, you've got these little flaps. These have kind of fell into place already, but let me show you if I can get them out. Right here, these are on the leg section. I can't get it out. They, you lucked out, they fell into place. But there are little tabs right here. You're gonna fold down along the tail fin. So get everything tabbed together. Get this little section here, tabbed together. So now we've got this going on, the wing. Get that just right. Make sure everything's nice and flush and tabbed in. Now with the forearms down here, you want to make sure and get these blue sections tucked up and under and have these sections right here. See the tabs? You need those to line up his blaster with. There's a big tab right here to correspond with this hole and these little tabs that go with the holes right there. Get those lined up. And now you have Starscream's blaster attached there on the underside. Now you've got the null rays and the null rays will correspond to the little slots right there. So get this one slotted in here and the other. And now we have Starscream in his Cybertronian Tetrajet mode. And when I first saw this mode, I immediately thought of the old Masters of the Universe figure, Mosquitor, because this looks like Mosquitor's helmet. But taking a closer look at the Tetrajet, I really like this. This is unique and pretty much spot on to how the Tetrajets looked in the Bumblebee movie. Everything lines up just right. It is a very unique transformation. Of course, this one section is always kind of a pain to line up just right. There we go. But it's pretty solid. Once you get everything tabbed in perfectly, this isn't going anywhere, and I dig it. I love the looks of this thing. I mean, I had my doubts, but I really dig this Cybertronian Tetrajet. All the collars carry over very well in Tetrajet mode, and now he does have purple Decepticon insignias there on the wings. Got the thrusters here on the back. The head is pretty well hidden. I dig it. You can't really tell. There, there's no robot junk hanging out other than the fist right there. So yeah, that is a pretty cool alt mode. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 72 Starscream in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 72 Starscream with Generation 1 Starscream, Studio Series Bumblebee Optimus Prime, Studio Series Shatter, and Studio Series Dark of the Moon Starscream. Ugh. Transformers Studio Series 72 Bumblebee Starscream is an amazing figure. This one totally took me by surprise. I was not expecting this figure to be nowhere near as good as it is. It's got a great robot mode, a great vehicle mode. Once you get past the fact it's weird, it's Cybertronian, it's actually pretty cool. Not to mention this figure has a great transformation and it's actually pretty fun to do. 
So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 72, Bumblebee, Starscream. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 72, Bumblebee, Starscream belong in your collection? Absolutely. I don't care which type of Transformer fan you are. G1, Modern, Beast Wars, Third Party, or even Bayformers, I think this figure right here has a little bit of something in it for everybody. I mean, this guy has a great robot mode, great vehicle mode, tons of detail, great Generation 1 homages. I mean, this is a really cool star screen. And if you see him on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And big shout out to my newest channel member, Jason Wade Cox. If you'd like to be a channel member, I do offer memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patreon Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!